This is everybody's day. This is everybody's day. Prayer. If you have been in winners before and you have seen them pray for church growth, before they do all those operations, what do they call it? Sir? Operation Andrew. Did they see do it? Prayers. Morning prayers, night, evening prayers, morning prayers, evening prayers. And if you stream Canaan and Papa is in all of the prayer meetings, praying in the morning, bring them, bring them. He walks. He walks. I'm saying it always walks. Because we have dropped out of prayer. You see, the kind of people prayer brings to church is as many as should be saved. The kind of people that gimmicks brings to church is people that may God give you understanding. Unfortunately, if more, if you were few, you were 12, and then you used gimmicks to bring 2,000, very soon, the 12 will be preaching the sermon of the 2,000. That's how we got here. Because if you brought them with gimmicks, you must use gimmicks to keep them. If you introduce a welfare master in Jesus to them, and not a Lord, you will keep them with welfare. What I mean, this son says, we, when they used to come, we used to cook for them all the time. I said, okay. He said, but we don't have enough money. Now. I said, they have gone. Said, if they don't go, I will, I will say that they are using charms. Yeah, what about fee? Ijo fe? Eh? Kena lo manche? Abu oran lo nan? Ibu wana wu oran fe? And what it means that if you marry the wife because she can dance well, you stared at her and because of her dance steps, you married her. Eh? The wife too will replicate your process to go. She too will admire something and follow. Let's pray. Remember, if you go to Makodi now. They are prayer meetings every day. And one day I was asking Papa, see how ah, these people, these people. He said there was what made the prayer tent, the prayer tent. It was years of vigils and prayers. We can't enter this building and be casual. That reality needs to be moved by replicated labor. So we pray there again. So there's, there's, there, there are entrance protocols for the ark. We must, we must recalibrate that area. I've shared the story with you. When we came here, or when we started in Lesbora, I met a minister in the supermarket. I greeted him well. I said, what do you do? How do you know me? I said, I've been hearing your name, sir. I just passed on a group there in Adenike. He said, oh, one of those small groups. I said, yes, sir. Because we're small. No, there's no reason say that, saying that you are the fastest growing church in town if you, if you are small. So I went for a meeting. He was to preach. I was to pray. And after I prayed, he came with two hands and shook me. Man of God. He looks as if I met before. I said, well, I met before. As that guy pastoring that small thing, is that how you pray? He said, but you can't do this for three years. If it was a herbalist, I would understand. But it's a pastor. He's supposed to encourage me. Ah! We have many of them come that way because they once had flames. The cares of life have taken it. I remember a pastor's wife called me as we were preparing to marry. She met me in town. She said, all this. She said, Marrying a woman will take it away from you. I said, Me. <laughs> no, 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 no. There may be days when I'm tired, but when I'm tired, I'll still be hearing. Eh. So I can be managing, but I know that our prayer cover is in place. We don't believe in our prayers, we believe in God. Are you with me? But the proof that you believe in God is that we pray. My boldness, let me say it in a way you can understand. Because if I say I don't believe in my prayers now, somebody will say, he said, let's not believe. Mm -mm. I mean that my boldness, my confidence 
is not in the fact that I prayed because the Bible did not say this is our confidence in prayer. It says this is the confidence that we have in Him. If God says, call unto me and I will answer you, then the proof that I know He will answer is that I will pray. So I met him after five years. And he repeated the same thing. He said, ah, you are still like that. He said, you can't do 12 years. But we'll do 12 years if Jesus tarries inside the ark. I need to, I don't know what, prayer, what do they call those things now? Some people invited me for one minute. He says, prayer cruise. I declined because I didn't understand that there was a concept like that. You know, sometimes when I go on Facebook and they say they are doing cruise, it means they are like saying, Tinubu is here, Tinubu is here. And you now rush out and say, Now cruise. So I felt, uh, How can you be doing prayer cruise? But I found out that it's like a, a journey in prayer, right? Okay. So if you invite me for prayer cruise now, maybe I'll come. I now under, in the language of the generation, I don't really understand. So, you know. But I know we used to do prayer things, you know. That time we'll do prayer. Remember, remind me that it's prayer cruise, we'll call it. And to be a cruise. Because the one who helps to pray will help us pray. Sometimes when people come with their problems and say, Sir, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. Please pray for me. I'm asking myself, You didn't get into half of the trouble that I've been, but I didn't contract it. Because there are two basic things that prayer in trouble produces for the praying man. One, it invites God to take away the trouble. And it also invites God to deal with the man in trouble. Some of the troubles we are asking God to take us out of is because we are a kind of person. I share with my wife. The guy said, I have a betting problem. I said, God will help you. Last week. Tuesday also. He says, sir, if I bet 6,000 now, in 3-4 hours, I'll have made 400k. Ah! I said, God will help you. He should have spoken to another person, because me, I know how God will help you. He said, well, I think that it's a problem, because after 48 hours, I'll have lost the money, but you still bet again. It means your losses are not good enough a lesson. I said, God will help you. So now I sent him to the money. He says, sir, I'm in trouble. Pray for me. I said, What did you do? He said, I took my mommy's money to bed. It was four, it was six thousand to four hundred K in four hours. Now he now used almost hundred thousand. See how much we get. He now caught the wind. May God give you understanding. He now say, I, I'm in trouble. I say, Stay in trouble. Stay in trouble. He said, why? He said, because this trouble will cure your heart. Will cure your heart. I went to bab my hair. A young man run, running, started fighting with my baba. And I said, what's the problem? The guy said, his younger brother kept some money with the baba. He wants the money now. Are you the one that kept the money? He started fighting the baba. And I called him his name, Sunday. Sunday. He said, you know me before? I said, I don't need to know you. You have three months before going to jail. Your parents are in church. You're a Yahoo boy. You know the school Yahoo boy. The town Yahoo boy now. The town Yahoo boy many times doesn't use a car. He uses a lady bike. May God give you understanding. <laughs> we see everything. I said, you're a Yahoo boy. He said, no, you can't be judging me. I said, me. How did I know your name? You are not a Yahoo boy. He said, no, I can't judge him. I said, I'm not even judging you from being a Yahoo boy. I'm just telling you this is who you are. And that you have three months to go to jail. He said, no, no woman being can't talk to I said, so you can't even recognize the voice of a man and when God is speaking through him. 
so that you will not go to jail. You will get into trouble within the next two days. You will sleep in the cell. It will save you from jail. But come back a different person. God. <laughs> when I went, I used to bab that time once in a week. When I went to my Baba, a Muslim, Ghani said, Pastor, no, you used to call me Reverend. He said, Reverend, that, that boy is in the police cell. I said, which day? He said, the fall, Monday morning. He was chatting with a white person, trying to ship him money. And then he had bought the phone from, you know, these apps, online apps used to sell phones. Once you don't pay, what they do is that they block the phone. So the phone becomes useless in your hand. So he, he had a few hours to the phone block. That's why he wanted to collect that money to secure that transaction. So when he didn't see that money, left the shop and took his mommy's pots. The mom sells all these area food sellers, plastic containers, everything, and merchandise all of them. So when the father came, the father didn't even want to Oko pot. They just called police. They locked him up for like two weeks. I'm sure his heart will be cured. It's prayer. Get into trouble before trouble. That Sunday, after one week in the police cell, you will find out that you will become like Jonah. God said, Go, 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 go. go. Mm. When he spent time in the belly of the fish, he cried out to God. <laughs> ah! Every time you contract prayer, you still get results, but you lose the, the making. Because prayer damages the praying man. And sometimes why God is patient is that the damage is not accomplished. You just find out that you're just walking into this... So, have you prayed before, Pastor Diola, for something? And you thought God had not done it. And then it damages you. It damages you. And when it produces a new man, you now get a mail that tells you that, like Daniel, since the first day you prayed, God answered. Ah, why did I to stay long? It's because you needed to be dealt with. Because trouble is an opportunity for God to reach you. The average person just says, thank you for today, he runs out. But when he's in trouble, say, God, please help me. That helped me. If you check in the books in heaven, the interpretation is many. It's including get me into trouble so that I can, I can change. Help me to a ladies, let me meet a heartbreaker. So that when my heart is broken, I will know that you are the, you are the center of my existence, not a man. God is not sending you. And the guy says it's difficult. Lord, help me. Sometimes it's, coll it's collision with something major. And the man will come back humble. I think I have a last point. That when the church prays corporately, the unity of the church is forged. It is difficult to fight with the one you pray with. Difficult. If you are my prayer partner, it's difficult to fight with you. Apart from the fact that the things that, ha that have to do with me are made bare to you. The desire not to lose a sparring partner keeps us together. I saw a love triangle somewhere. I don't know if you've seen it before. God at the pinnacle. Then a triangle. The man and the woman who are in love at the lower edges of the triangle. As both of them pray, ascend to God together, what happens to them? They become closer to themselves also. Is that not so? The triangle is, each of them is getting closer to God. But if you draw a straight line, the straight line between them, as they go, you can't picture what I'm saying. You have a triangle, God, man, woman. As the man and the woman ascend, the distance between them, individual and God, is shorter. But the horizontal distance between them is also closer. Shorter. So when the church prays together, 
not just one person praying for us and we trying to assess God for different things I'm trusting God for a day that how many of you here live in your room 